Assalamu alaikum, hi everyone. So in the first part we installed Laravel using Docker. The second part we installed Inertia with React and Tailwind CSS. By the end of the second part we had this demo and what we are trying to achieve is basically this light version of it. Again this is what we call RSVB or basically an invitation. It has a title, description and a few fields and a form that has tabs to select whether the person is going or not going. So let's get started. First we need to remove this navigation. Next we are hiring and these logos. Also we don't need this social media. So let's head to our code editor. This navigation is not needed. Remove it. We search for the navigation. It's this one, the popover is not needed. Save it. And the we are hiring. Not needed. And I believe these are the logos. So It's this one from here till here. Remove. We have also the sign in options. We remove them also as well. And this I will keep it because I will rename it to something else. If I refresh. Uh, something broke. I'm sure I missed something here. I think I'm missing a, a div. Refresh. Yeah. Used by is still there, so I think this is the one. Remove it also. Okay. Um, we don't need also this or section okay excellent let's rename this one from sign in with to this please fill out I will copy I just hit to reformat Fresh, better. Let's add some fields to the form. So we have the full name. Here we have, I think, first name, last name, yeah. So this one will be first name. The autocomplete it will be given dash name placeholder will be first name it will be required and yeah that's it i will duplicate this one For the autocomplete, it's tell. We don't have a password, so we can replace it with we have a company and notes. 
okay so company is basically a text field I will grab the family name so this is the company auto complete also company I will remove the required for this one and lastly we have notes and this one is a little bit different as this is going to be a text area there is no need for the type it's already text area has name ID and there is no autocomplete place holder place holder it will be just notes and it's not required let's check if all is okay we need to reduce this gap a little bit with this it's already hidden this SVG it's for the mobile we need we don't need it remove it as also as well there is also this padding let's keep it let's keep it just to six from the top That was bottom okay so that was bottom this is the top I will keep it 16 margin top 16 just 10 is enough I think for our purpose here these fields I will reduce the gap between them so it's good to this one I'm sure there's somewhere that we mentioned that there is a margin. Let's check here. Yeah, it's not a margin, it's in the form itself. So instead of space y6, let's keep it 3. That's better. Now let's give it the title that we want which is this one and there is no need for this one For the description, I'm copying. So far, I'm just copying just to make it to make the design better. However, we are going to replace this in the future from the database. So, what is missing now is the location, date, and time, and there is the tabs on the top. So we can create now our box for the location. So I will create a div. There will be class margin top by let's say four. Then for the location we need an icon a map icon I think it's okay out and we give it class name it will be an inline with I think 
4 and height is 4 is suitable and need be margin left by 2 this is to make it isolated from the text which is coming here so we can see um, hole 5 for example this is the location and so let's create another one for the calendar similar to this but we'll group each one in a div of its own so it will be margin top by 2 and each one of them will have a text for example 3 excel paste this one duplicate I will create another one another icon will be for calendar and it will be for example Friday 16th April we will create another one for the time so it will be clock icon and 6 p.m. let's see what we have done so far okay we failed to get the colors but the icons are really small so maybe it's instead of 4 we give it like 10 that's better let's change the colors now okay I think we have reached somewhere that is good in, in the shape and the layout now let's move to the theme so let's apply the colors so instead of putting white now and then change it later let's let's give them the colors that we needed here so this is kind of blue this is purple a certain uh, degree of purple we have also uh, the same blue here I think and the regular blues here so oh yeah there is also the background it's kind of yellow a light yellow so I already have copied these colors in hexa I pasted them here in my environment file it's not uh, it doesn't mean I think these are just commented so you, you don't have to put anything here I just put them here to show you how we can grab this custom colors and put them into our own tailwind so we go to the tailwind config and here we say that these are colors we are extending the colors and here I'm adding a new color for example it will be rsvb like a color collection so it will be rsvb and we can give for example dark blue and that will take the first one so sorry I didn't copy it it will take the first one we are going to have also another two so we have the purple this one and we are going to have the light yellow now if I save this you can see that the watcher reset and if the watcher didn't reset by itself you have just to terminate it and run it again now if I go again to the home JSX and we give to the whole this whole section the same color which is text rsvb and we can see that our colors are added now so this one will be purple and if we go back here we can see now it's done and let's let's fix the background it will be our instead of background gray actually I will remove it from here now it will be maybe white yeah and I will add it to the ab blade here and um, in the body can give it here PG and it will be RSVB 
and light yellow so now we have the color okay now we can work on the text the white text the, the title so this one will be instead of text white this one will be text RSVB will be dark blue and the same goes for this one I will keep it to dark gray 700 I think that's better yeah and now yeah it looks more like this one right um, this location it's I think it, uh, it's the wrong icon here instead of map icon it will be location marker yeah it's the location marker and I think they are too close so instead of margin left I make it four. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's margin left, right by two. Sorry, my bad. So yeah, that's that's better. Now let's add the parking information. Under the location, I will add an anchor tag. It will be linked later with Google Maps link. It will say for example parking B and for the icon since there is no an icon for parking in the hero icons I will have to create an icon component for the parking so under shared I will create a new file I will call it parking icon to gsx and it's a react functional component it will take property of class name and it will return I already copied an SVG icon so this class name it will pass it will be the same as the class name in the properties and it's this way I will save this one so here we will import it parking icon class name it will be the same as uh, above so it's an inline width of 10 height of 10 margin right by 2 uh, no actually it's a smaller so let's say 4 As for the anchor tag, the class name it will be text RSVB dark blue and text LG or I think base. It's better, and I will give all of them to be font semi bold or let's have them all bold I will remove the margin from this one because I want the parking to be closer to the location and let's have the spaces the margin as spaces larger a little bit so margin bottom 4 let's refresh and the parking icon is missing two things here if you notice it's not taking the margin that's because it's uh, it's displays in line by default for the anchor tag so we'll make it block so this one it will be block and I will add to it a padding left by two to make space from the left and for the icon it will have um, stroke current fill current 
failed current because the icon it's failed it's a solid one so yeah that's better I believe if we give the padding lift maybe 4 it's better then 3 3 is suitable it will suit it more I believe if we add just when we hover on hover text or underline okay this is good this lesson has taken more than I anticipated so I will end it here and inshallah see you in the next one